Okay, and let's just say that, okay, I've, I'm done. I want to store this now as a queue. Um, you should have your executors toggled open over here. So if, if not, open up executor 1 through 15, 101 through 115 on screen four. And now I want to store this. To store, to store a queue, all we're going to do is we're going to click the store button and we're going to select an executor. Let's just put this one on executor fader number one. We just click any part of executor fader one, which is including these three buttons, the fader here, and then this is the display area where it tells us what's happening. So we click there and now what that did is that it stored that queue to a new sequence and it assigned the sequence onto this executor. If you look in our fixture sheet, you'll notice that I still have the light selected, um, but now that the values I stored it, they're no longer active. So they're just red text, not the red background, but they are still in the programmer. They're still being held there. So once I store something, I need to clear my programmer. So I hit clear three times to get rid of that. And now I could come over here to my executor and play it back. Now to play these back, um, there's a go by default, this bottom button is a go, and then we have an on and off button, and then the fader. When I store something, the fader automatically goes to 100. If I pulled it down to zero and then started it, that will also automatically turn it on by default. Anytime I pull the fader up or down, it turns the sequence on and off automatically. And we'll change that setting later, but for now, that's how it works. So I can either pull the fader up if it's off, I can also just turn it on, which will just take it into the one queue that it has. I can turn it off here or I can hit go and it will turn it on as well. And we see here, yes, I'm playing back what I, what I had in the programmer. It's a magenta light pointing downstage center at full with the strobe on it. Now let's say that I recorded that queue and I'm like, oh, well, I really wanna change the color and update this queue. Um, there's multiple ways to do it, but the easiest way here is going to be to go into the edit mode for that queue. Um, so first thing we want to do before we start talking to these queues and sequences through the keypad, we need to make sure that we have the one that we want selected to talk to. So I see this green border up here telling me that this um, sequence is selected because I stored it onto fader one on page one. It was already selected. If I need to select a different one, I come here below the freeze button, there's the select button. I'll just click select and select whichever executor I need. So for us, it's one, so that I can actually talk to that, that executor through these buttons or through the command line. Okay, so I've selected the executor I'm trying to manipulate. Uh, I'm gonna press the edit key. So I'm gonna be editing this one that I have selected. I need to tell it what I want to edit. In this case, I want to edit a queue and this, this sequence only has one queue in it. So I'm gonna type in queue and the queue number one. And you can see here in the command line, if you're not sure what you've clicked, it will read out here in this teal command line. Okay, I need to say please to uh, in the statement to execute it. So I have please, and you'll notice now that the, the edit light is flashing the edit button here, telling me that I'm in an edit mode. It loaded all those values that I have for this queue into the programmer. And I have red over here on the um, executor telling me that I'm in an edit mode. So now let's just make the change we wanna see. So uh, I said I wanted to change the color, let's change it to green. Go back to the color tab. Um, for green, we're gonna have to take red out. So red to minimum, blue to minimum, green to maximum. So now I have green here, it's still strobing and everything. When I'm done making my changes, I will come down here under edit and there's an update button that's lit up now telling me that I'm in edit mode and I made a change, do you want to update? Click update, it will give us a pop-up to confirm and it will tell us sequence one on Q1, which is what I want. And I'll click OK. Again, I made a change and I updated it, but all this stuff is still in the programmer. So to actually see it playing back, 
accurately. So if this was off, I'm actually still seeing it because it's still in the programmer. Clear the programmer, play the cue back just to make sure, and the change, it did accept the change. So that's how we edit things that we've also, that we've already um, recorded or stored.